In this video, I'm going to take you through Algorand and how to buy, store and earn rewards with the Algo token. And for more information on Algorand, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. Algorand was launched in mid-2019 and it's a public cryptocurrency blockchain and protocol that aims to deliver decentralization, scale, and security for all participants. And it uses a permissionless proof-of-stake protocol called Pure Proof-of-Stake for validating blocks into its chain. Unlike Proof-of-Work used by blockchain or Proof-of-Stake like Binance or Cardano, Pure Proof-of-Stake ensures full participation as every token holder with at least one algo in their account can choose to participate or not, where they'll be chosen at random to propose and add new blocks to the chain, and the more tokens you hold, the more likely you are to be chosen. Pure proof of stake also enhances security, as the token holders are chosen at random and an attacker doesn't know who they are beforehand. It also promotes decentralization, as anyone can participate, and you don't have to solve any complex mathematical problems like a minor word for proof of work. Plus, it offers speed with fast transaction processing, finalizing blocks in seconds with throughput on par with large payment of financial networks, and all with very low transaction costs too, which I'll take you through shortly. Algorand is a Boston-based project which was created by Silvio Macaulay, a Turing Award winner, computer scientist, and MIT professor and Macaulay is joined by a team of blockchain experts and researchers. Algorand has their own native token, Algo, which is used as a transfer of value on the network. And as well as their Algorand Algo token, there are other cryptocurrencies also running on the Algorand blockchain. And these are known as Algorand Standard Assets, or ASAs. And they're similar to the likes of ERC-20 tokens that run on the Ethereum blockchain. These ASAs can include fungible assets like currencies, stablecoins, and utility tokens, non-fungible assets, which are unique assets like tickets, restricted fungible assets like securities, and restricted non-fungible assets such as licenses and certifications. Plus, they have something called atomic transfers, which offers a secure way to batch transactions and allows for groups of transactions to be submitted at one time. During this transaction, if any of the transactions fail, then all the transactions will fail. And these atomic transfers allow for payments to be made to multiple recipients and can be used in decentralized exchanges by enabling trades without going through a centralized exchange. So where can you buy the ALGO tokens? Well, you can check out full lists of available exchanges on the likes of CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko. And these include the likes of Coinbase, from release to Coinbase listing, Algo is one of the fastest tokens to ever be listed on the exchange. And you can buy, sell, convert, send and receive Algo in all Coinbase supported regions. Plus, you can trade or buy Algo with cryptos and stablecoins using other exchanges, such as the likes of Binance, KuCoin and Crypto.com. And I have tutorials and sign-up offers for these platforms if you are interested in finding out more. Then once you've purchased or traded for your ALGO tokens, it's really important to store these in a supported wallet. Keeping your tokens on an exchange is not recommended, as it's a far more likely target for hackers. Plus, you don't have control of your assets without access to your private keys. And not only that, but you might also miss out on earning some rewards, which we're going to look at in a moment. So where can you store your ALGOs? Well, first up, there's the Algorand wallet. This is the official wallet built by the team that built the Algorand blockchain. The wallet, which is available as a mobile app for Android or iOS devices, allows you to securely manage your Algorand assets while earning rewards. With the wallet, you can send, receive, or hodl algos in Algorand standard assets, plus you can automatically earn rewards just by having the algos in your accounts. And the wallet also allows users to create accounts within the Algorand wallet that are backed by a Ledger hardware wallet, giving you increased security with your private keys never touching your mobile, and all the transactions from your Ledger-backed account will require authorization. With Ledger, you can manage your Algorand and the Algorand standard assets directly within Ledger Live, 
meaning that your ALGO and ASA tokens are safely stored offline and away from any potential harm. Plus, ALGO rewards can also be claimed via Ledger Live. If you're looking for a free desktop wallet to store your ALGO tokens, the Exodus wallet supports them. With Exodus, you can send, receive, stake and exchange with the ALGO wallet. The Exodus wallet is also available for Android and iOS, meaning that you can keep a track of your portfolio on the go. So next up, let's discuss how you can stake or earn rewards. With Algorand, there's no delegation required, meaning that all you need to do is hold one algo on your address to start earning rewards. Usually, with cryptocurrency staking, you need to become a validator or delegate your tokens. However, with Algorand, they really simplify the process. To start earning, you simply need to deposit your algo into a supported wallet and your algo will automatically accumulate over time. The rewards that you receive will be automatically claimed whenever the next operation takes place on your address, and this can either be sending or receiving some algo. And one of the main questions here is whether or not you can earn rewards on exchanges like Coinbase or Binance. Well, that depends. Algos stored in custodial wallets such as exchanges still receive rewards as any other algos. But technically, the custodian is receiving these rewards because they own the address where the algos are stored. Some exchanges will receive rewards and distribute them to their users, but you really will need to check their terms and conditions. So let's take a look through the Algorand wallet now. And this is available from the App Store or Google Play. So we'll need to add an account. And then you'll be prompted as to whether or not you want to create a new account with a new address and passphrase, a watch account and just monitor transactions, recover from a passphrase, or pair a Ledger account, which I'm going to show you shortly. I'm going to create a new account now. And you'll be prompted to create a six-digit passcode for the wallet. Now, this passcode doesn't recover your account if you lose your phone or uninstall the app. It simply is a level of security to open the wallet. And you can also enable Face ID or fingerprint technology too. And once that's set up, you'll then be prompted to write down or back up your recovery phrase which you'll need to do in the correct numbered order. And it's important that you keep this somewhere really safe as someone with access to these words will have complete control over your crypto. Once you've written them down, you'll then be asked to confirm three words in the correct order. Then enter in the name of the account and press on to next. So let's take a look around the screen. First, to the right of my account name, every bit helps, I've got my QR code and my account address. And you can share that QR code from here or you can copy the address too. Then if we click onto the three dots, we can re-key the account which allows you to change your private spending keys. You can view your passphrase, mute notifications, edit your account name or remove your account. If we press onto the Algo's balance, we can have a look at our Algo balance and rewards as well as any transaction history you may have. And you can send and receive from here too. If we choose to add new assets, from here you can add more assets from the list. Then we'll click onto the address book icon, which will give you the opportunity to add contacts to make sending assets faster. The center button allows you to send or receive. Then you have the notification screen, and your settings for allowing you to change your password, show or hide rewards, and change the language and currency. Then if we head back to our account screen, at the top here, you can scan QR codes. Or you can click onto the plus icon, where you have the option to create a new account, recover, or pair a ledger, which is what I'm going to show you next. So first, You'll need to make sure that your Ledger is on and it has Bluetooth enabled. And you'll find that the Ledger X has the Bluetooth functionality, however the Ledger S does not. Therefore, it's only compatible with the X. And you'll need to have installed the Algorand app on your Ledger. If you haven't already done so, you can do this from within Ledger Live Manager by searching for Algorand and choosing to install. And you'll then need to create the account so that you can send and receive. Then on your Ledger device, you'll need to ensure that you open up the Algorand app before you start pairing. 
and make sure that Bluetooth is enabled on your smartphone too. Your wallet will then search for your Ledger device. So now, I've connected up my Ledger. However, I don't currently have a balance here. However, I do have some Algorand over on Binance, which I'd like to store safely on my Ledger and access using the Algorand wallet. So to send that, I'll just copy across my receive address from within Ledger Live. And this is exactly the same as the receive address showing in my Algorand wallet too. And if I paste that into my recipient address from the withdraw screen over on Binance, the transfer network is already set to Algorand network and it can detect that this is an Algorand address. And you can see that this is costing me less than one cent to send, so it's really cheap in terms of transaction costs. So I'll just send across the max and then continue with my withdrawal. Now back over on my Algorand wallet, when I click onto my balance, it shows me my balance in both USD and Algos, plus a list of my transactions and my rewards. Again, the rewards are calculated automatically for you, and it will show you your rewards since your last transaction. Just so you know, the rewards are always included in the balance that you see. So that's how easy it is to send transactions on the Algorand network, earn rewards, and safely store your tokens. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.